So my wife and brother-in-law have been running together for the past few months. My wife told me that besides their weekend runs, that they were also running during the week after work. Well, brother-in-law was not telling his wife about all the runs and my wife kept them secrets from her sister, though I suspect she didn't tell me about all the runs. Anyways, my wife's sister somehow finds out about them running during the week and gets upset. I told my wife I agree with her sister and that they should stop running as it's starting to get weird with the line. I also pointed out that it seemed a little weird to be running that much together and she commented that it's, and I quote, not like they were having an affair. As I think back now, all these last few months, she was very complimentary to how open my brother-in-law was on the runs and that they could speak about everything and how I didn't bring anything to the table. She seemingly got mad at me all the time for the smallest thing and there were frequent comments about how the brother-in-law was so great. Well, last weekend, her sister got upset and my wife said she would not run with him anymore. She explained that she ran with him since she didn't feel safe running outside alone and that he ran the same pace. Her sister left it as, do what you want, but was clearly upset. My wife didn't run all week, but he was texting her constantly about running and she finally agreed to go Saturday morning. She asked if I was okay with and I told her that I really wasn't and it seemed strange she would go against her sister and my wish. She commented that they were just running partners and that everyone was acting weird for some reason. Well, one hour later, she come flying through the door and said he told her he wanted to kiss her and texted the same. My wife was all upset, said she called him and said what are you thinking and he was crazy and hanged up on him. I was shocked that my brother-in-law would pull this and ask my wife what would have led to this and that guys don't just say things like this for no reason. My wife denied any conversation about our marriage issues or anything that would have led him on. I told her, I love you and I believe you and that you must tell your sister. She said absolutely not as it would destroy her family and it wasn't a big deal. She got upset when I told her I wanted her to tell brother-in-law that I was aware and she said he already learned his lesson and that would blow it out of proportion. I got very upset, told her the same and she basically said we need to just move on and act like nothing happened. I disagreed and she now wouldn't talk about it and told me that I'm acting like a baby and ruining our relationship with my attitude about it. I feel like she was having an emotional affair and now protecting him because she's developed some sort of feelings for him. I ended up looking at our phone bill and seeing that she had multiple calls over the last couple of months with him and they were 10, 15 and 20 minutes long during the work day when I'm obviously not around. Not proud of this but I looked at her text messages and took a picture of one saying he wanted to kiss her. There were also messages about him giving her a special birthday present and then one saying, and I quote, I assume you deleted the text message before you got home and let's just forget about this one. For some unknown reason, my wife is willing to act like this is no big deal when in reality it's a big deal to me. Maybe I shouldn't be upset but I can't shake the feeling that she is not as innocent as she's putting forth. I don't believe anything physically happened. But why defend this comeback like this and allow him to go on like nothing happened, especially when your sister is involved? I need some advice on how to handle this. Update. So I took some of the below advice as over dinner, my wife commented that she was glad I wasn't going to say anything to anyone and just act normal around the family. I responded that was in fact not the case as I'm still very uncomfortable and upset about what happened and I'm not sure how I would react. She lost it and started calling me all sort of names and that my actions are going to destroy our relationship and I should just call her ex-wife as she wouldn't tolerate my disregarding her wishes. I explained that I feel it's wrong to just forget it ever happened and that I don't appreciate her defending and excusing her brother-in-law's action. She continued yelling 
that she now can't trust me and would tell me anything in the future. She told me I'm going to destroy the whole family, her parents, her sister, and our life by not agreeing to let it go, yelling about how dare I blame her. I made it clear that I'm not blaming her, that I'm more focused on her brother-in-law's action, but she doesn't want to hear this. I'm currently getting the silent treatment. Update 2 After she stopped yelling last night and transitioned to silent treatment, she went straight to bed upstairs woke up this morning and zero conversation with complete silent treatment. The only words uttered were to call me an a-hole for putting a wet towel on top of my daughter's homework. She then walked out the door for work. This is the end of the post. Now here's my take on this story. One of the red flags that indicate that a girlfriend or a wife is cheating physically or emotionally is when she suddenly starts getting irritated by you at the slightest thing and begins to compare you to other men like the comment from the original poster and i quote she seemingly got mad at me all the time for the smallest thing and there were frequent comments about how the brother-in-law was so great she's keeping the kiss comment a secret and doesn't want to let her sister know because she enjoys the attention she's getting from her brother-in-law she couldn't help herself from the excitement and must share it with someone, even if it jeopardizes her marriage and the marriage of her sister. Now she wants to manipulate her husband to share the burden of her secret and accept being a cuckold. The fact that she risked it all to tell her husband shows how much she relished the attention. There may also be some sort of sibling rivalry in the background. Another point is, that women will often use shaming tactics to manipulate their husband or boyfriend to force them to do what they want them to do. What he needs to do is to double down on whatever she didn't want him to do. If he relents, then he would encourage her to continue that behavior. Now let's go over some of the top comments and responses from the original poster. Reader comments. Reading this and your other post, I know this is just one side of the story. And people can say things they don't mean when arguing. But is your wife often manipulative and unable to say sorry or accept the consequences of her actions? My response to your other post assumed she has been doing nothing wrong but lying to her own sister about meeting her brother-in-law, using him to make comparison to you and calling you names, calling you an a-hole and saying you're acting like a baby. That's pretty destructive stuff. Response from the original poster. It's only one side of the story. However, there's a history of manipulation as a tactic used by my wife. She usually say personal things to put me down and then blame her anxiety and I got her so angry. I have always held and maintained that there is no place for personal attacks in an argument. But that is her fallback since she knows it bothers me. She always uses threats when she gets upset. Read a comment. Why did you marry this woman? Original poster. Was never an issue until we got married. Never saw this side when we lived together before marriage. It didn't come up until about a year ago or so after. This was eight years into our relationship. Read a comment. People don't run together that often unless there's something going on. Everyone that I know including couples, might run together once, maybe twice a week, and they don't lie about it. The lying is the part that makes everything that much wicked. Then you add the phone call to the mix, the text messages, her not willing to tell her sister, her wanting to blow it off like it's no big deal, and the brother-in-law asking to kiss her. Come on, man. She's not making a big deal about it because she's involved as the brother-in-law. They're trying to get away with an affair. Even if that's not the case at this point, you are going to have a hard time trusting her. Can you find some location information from the phone provider to see if they spend more time in one spot on their run? Keep records, keep communication open with the sister-in-law to get as much info as possible. See if you can check other communication Though now that is out, I would imagine tracks are being covered. 
Have another talk with your wife and see how her response makes you feel. You know something is up. Response from the original poster. I just can't figure out why she wants to protect him. She doesn't want me to say a word. Somehow, I'm the bad guy if I say something. What concerns me is the willingness to cover it up from her sister. She tried to explain that he's just confused and having a tough time in the marriage and all their kids. I commented that through all our tough times, I never told another woman that I wanted to kiss them. This info made me realize that their talk probably was very personal. He was laying the poor me groundwork so she would feel bad. Reader comments, dude, after the update, it is certain there is smoke and fire here. Thanks. I think so too. Why else would you get so upset? She's claiming that not telling anyone protect her sister and that my wife stopped it in its track. I commented that I can't figure out how it would have gotten to that level where he felt comfortable enough to say that. However, the massive blow up and trying to turn it back on me is absurd. I just kept saying last night that I did nothing wrong and despite nothing physically happening, it's not something that I can just forget about. How can she expect and demand me to just act like nothing happened? She started throwing out that I was causing her anxiety and stress that she didn't need and would lead to panic attack. I believe her and her brother-in-law action created this, not my reaction to their emotional affair. I do believe it was an absolute emotional affair. As she keeps defending him and commented that yes, they were having marriage issue but are doing so much better. Of course, he's been better this week because he's scared of getting caught. I express my concern that my brother-in-law is an individual who was willing to break up my marriage and screw my kid's life as such his actions are unforgivable. Wife doesn't see it this way and keeps saying that she stopped it and he never got physical. That my being angry doesn't do anything good. I asked if she told him that I knew and she said no, that he's already embarrassed enough. I mean, what the F? So he thinks this is just another one of their little secrets and gets to walk around my family as though I am stupid? I want to call and text him about it, but I'm waiting to see him face to face. I plan to pull him aside and let him know I'm fully aware. Not sure if I should drop the fact that I have copies of the text messages. Reader comments. Guy, when are you going to stand up for yourself? Stop being the dopey better male husband. Kick the door down this whole thing. You need to be much more of an oak tree than the little sapling blow in the wind that you are right now. Again, stop effing talking about it. You're getting nowhere. Talking will never do anything for anyone ever. Only action matters. What are her past and current action telling you? They are telling me a lot. Tell her effing sister. If your wife is innocent in this, then what does she have to worry about? Tell her sister and let your wife go. Draw a line in the effing sand and let her stand whichever side of the line she wants. Be a rock. Pay no mind to the storm around you. Do the right thing. To quote the great American poet Stone Cold Steve Austin, if you're scared, then take your ass back to the dressing room. I you need to stop being effing scared of your wife's threats and make it very clear that you don't trust her and don't believe she's innocent in this and that you've been lied to. Do you even call her out on the text and what he said in person not making any sense? If you're going to waste your time talking, at least talk about the right thing. Response from the original poster. I did call her out. She said after their run, he dropped her off at her car. He then texts her that, and I quote, I wanted to kiss you there and then called and reread it right after it was sent. Read a comment. Wait, I thought she said she called him and he acted crazy or something and hung up. Response from the original poster. She said that when he called her is when she told him he was crazy and out of line and hanged up on the phone on him. 
she didn't have to call him. Read a comment. Is that what she told you when she came flying through the door? The phone record backed that up. When the timing, with the timing and who called who? Besides, I can't imagine a person saying this to his wife's sister out of the blue. How would you have the confidence to make this leap without your wife somehow indicating interest, if not outright saying it, without having the fear of the likelihood of his wife finding out? I would never do this specifically because I would assume the chance of my wife finding out. I randomly try to F her sister is a damn 100%. Who the F wouldn't tell their sister? Actually, I know who wouldn't. Response from the original poster. The records show text, one minute phone call from him and one minute phone call from her, all within three minutes.